Hello, this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov at the Vienna International AIDS Conference. There was just a press conference on the travel restrictions. Gentlemen, could you introduce yourself and tell us your sort of key point that you shared during the press conference? And could we start with our guest from China, sir? Oh, thank you. Uh, well, the travel restrictions have now uh, been lifted for a couple of months since April 27th. And of course, the main point we were just trying to make is apart from you need the political will and the political leadership to, to, to guide the country out of what has been uh, clearly uh, a very difficult and uh, awkward, increasingly awkward policy uh, for the last uh, almost 20 years. When you remove that barrier, the world gets a little bit smaller. Why, thank you. And sir? Uh, I'm Dr. Howard Coe, Assistant Secretary for Health for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, the, in the United States, the travel ban was instituted in 1987, and since then we've learned so much about what causes HIV and how it's transmitted. Uh, we know it's not caused by casual contact. Uh, we know it's not like diseases, uh, for example, tuberculosis, that's easily communicable. So for these reasons, in January of 2010, the travel ban was formally lifted, and uh, we had an announcement that was uh, put forward by both Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Secretary of Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius at a press conference at the White House to announce that. And so with the lifting of the ban, the United States could now sponsor the upcoming 2012 International AIDS Conference in Washington, D.C. So we're very proud to make that announcement. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. And this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov.